Welcome to MLB The Show in this presentation of Minor League Baseball. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the Sugarland Skeeters and the Sacramento River Cats. The Skeeters are looking to collect their eighth win in a row. Sacramento Next. Sacramento River Cats. So now into the box is Anderson Miller. It'll lead things <coughs> off here in the <coughs> bottom half of the first. From the stretch. A ball and no strikes. No shot. Visiting team as they take the field after a scoreless top half. Fortune has been smiling on them recently. They're unbeaten in their last seven games. You know, Maddie, the season's such a grind, and you fight so hard day in, day out, and you're playing against the best players in the world, so you know you're going to lose some games coming out of spring training. To get on a roll where you win seven in a row, a week of everything coming together, that's a special feeling. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. So now to the plate, Ray Patrick Ditter. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Not even close on that swing. No balls and a strike. Little hesitation right there by the batter. There's great execution by the pitcher down and away. But that looked like a late swing. Could have been sitting on something else. And he'll take it onto the bag himself. Two gone now here in the first. Gary is shit. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Mauricio now it's end up all is in over with there. two away as he takes a ball, 1 0. Got him to swing at a pitch below the knees, 1 and 1. The pitch. God damn it. Two out, nobody on. He's trying to fit, keep the ball off the fucking plate. Slow roller left side. And it goes on to the fucking plate. Throw on God to first gets it. him and the side is retired. We've played an inning. Still nothing, nothing. God damn, I didn't press why you got me all fucked up. Last half of the second set to go. And the next go. up is Hold Elliot up. Ramos. Hey, Maddie, they need to get some offense going in this one. Getting a run back in this inning, give them a little bit of confidence that they can keep up in this game. Love the early lead, but this game is far from over. Got to stay on top of what you're trying to do out there and execute pitches. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. Ah, uh, got him swinging on the split-fingered pitch, and that's out number one. And now here is Peter Maris looking for better results than last night when he went 0 for 4 in that one. Fuck. Pitch is popped up, and he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. Here now is Chesler Cuthbert. He'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a miss as he pulls the top hand over. It's 0-2. Yeah, if he's going to pound the zone with this stuff all game, the offense... Uh, we'll have to press Ooh. pause as that strike three to retire the side. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. We played two full. The Skeeters are out on top, three to nothing. I keep forgetting to fucking press it, damn it. Digging in will be Will Wilson. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. <laughs> the offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Keeping it down here as it's to one and two. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. So next to bat will be Rob Brantley. The catcher. First pitch coming. Here it is. Brantley. There's strike two as it catches the outside corner. And he struck him out as well. So the bottom of the order providing little resistance here, and there are two away. That's a pretty sad attempt at hitting a baseball right there. No doubt he was completely fooled because that was a curveball, and it looked like he was late on a curveball. That tells me he gave up on it right till the very end, and obviously there was nothing he could do at that point. Number 26 is next as he finds himself behind 0-1. 
And it's quickly 0-2. Hey, right Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Make it nine straight here to start the ball game. On now to the top of inning number four. The Skeeters lead it. Dude, am I am I a dumbass? Stepping in once again is why Anderson Miller. Why do I keep Miller. thinking it's already fucking ball in play here? Idiot. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Swung right over the splitter there, 0 and 1. And he falls behind 0 and 2. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. The 0 2 once more. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Boy, this guy has really good stuff so <laughs> far on this one. How about seven Ks and we're just in the middle innings of this one? If the he bat. continues this up, the this could be a real solid performance. Ray Patrick, Ray Patrick that stays Standing way up. for a second time here as he swings and misses there. It's nothing in one. Well behind that no fastball, it's a strike. swinging strike. 0 oh 2, here it comes. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. Pretty impressive back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the inning. What's even more important is now he gets to face the middle of the order without anybody on base for them to drive in. Mauricio Dubon stands in as he can't connect here 0-1. And this is popped up near second base. Garcia is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. Can't start any better than this. He's set Finally down the to first it. 12. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and striding forward the designated hitter, Elliot Ramos. Splitter here, and it's taken for strike one. Let's go. Uh. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. Oh, and he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine Let's in the go, ball. Now, that's the second base now here's the first offering. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Now a curveball misses inside. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0 2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. One out, nobody on. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. And he struck Ooh. him out. So double digits now. Ten strikeouts for him this far. <laughs> That's ten strikeouts for him now. And I'll tell you, he could rack up quite a few more before he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one. At the plate now, Chesler Cuthbert. The as the first man. pitch to him is in there Chesler. for a cold strike one. Cuthbert. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Swing and a miss. It's 0-2. Man, he's in control of all his weapons right here. One strike away from... A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. 15 up, 15 down to start the ball game. We're through five here at the ballpark. And now in the box, Will Wilson. He'll get things started here in the second half of the sixth. A little bouncer. Hey, the guy on the mound is absolutely pounding the zone, and that's why he's been able to stay and pitch deep into this game. And he misses with it. One Whoa, and one. you little bitch. Oh, straightened him up there on that fastball. It's one and two now. Not likely to see a fourth fastball in this situation. I'm going to eliminate the fastball if I'm at the plate right here. Uh, and he's just rolling right now. An even dozen strikeouts for him in the ballgame. And stepping in, Rob Brantley struck out in his first at bat. Just a tick behind for a strike. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. Bases are empty, one man out. 
little behind on that swing and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. Hard liner but picked up on a hop. Throw gets him two down. <coughs> Next to stand in is number 26. 0 for 1 for him 26. here in this one. Just gets a piece of it. Strike one. Comes set with the 0 and 1. Swung on and missed that strike two. You know, over the course of a full season, you're going to have some clunkers, and this certainly looks like one. By the look on the manager's face, Dude. Oh he's going to probably God. call it meeting after this. Here comes the one, two. Gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. Three up, three down for the sixth consecutive inning here. We're through six full. The Skeeters lead it four to nothing. Last half of the seventh here, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Anderson Miller. And he gets ahead 0-1. Probably a design take right there. They need base runners, so they're going to make him try to bring the ball in the strike zone. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. And he strikes him out here, so that's out number one here in the seventh as he continues to keep him out of the hit column. Strikeouts. Next, it'll be Ray Patrick Ditter. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. Here it comes. One out, nobody on. Got him. So that's the second out of the inning, and he's seven outs away now. Didn't mess around much in that at bat, Dan. No, that was pretty impressive, Matt. I really like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball. And right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go grab some bench. Now batting, right fielder. Stepping up to the plate, Mauricio Dubon. One ball, no strikes to count. Two down now. The 1 0. Ball, that's it. It's a lot Holy easier to fuck. hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers pitches and when he's getting the ball in the zone he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. The count now at two and one. A little early and now Holy it's even shit. at two and two. Ground ball sent back. No, the oh and my that's fucking a base god! Hit. So the perfect game bid ends in the seventh. God damn it! Ah, so he was able to take it into the seventh, but the no-hit bid is going to end oh my with god. two out in inning number seven. Boy and Maddie, this is when you start really thinking. Oh, and his game of hide and seek ends as he's tagged out to end the inning. So he keeps rolling right along, make it seven shutout innings now. God damn it. At the plate fuck. now is Peter Maris. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Nah, they just haven't had much of an answer, Maddie. They've been off balance oh and my God, all game. Dude. He's got a nice, comfortable lead. You have to think he's going to pound the strike zone. But here, get aggressive. Next, here is Chesler Cuthbert. Too. Struck out in his last trip to the plate. Strike one to start the at-bat. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of his spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. I didn't even miss my fucking spot. Looking God. to send him packing oh, again. The call right on the middle of the plate. Good and idea, he goes bro. down on strikes for the third time. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems no we're seeing no that a lot more these Good days. Stuff. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out. A strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. 
Boy, he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. And another one. Strikeout number 17 in the ball game as he keeps racking him up. He's through eight with the shot. Phillips Valdez will come on in relief now as he'll make his 35th appearance of the season. Wow, that's eight wins in a row, and it seems like they can't do anything wrong. When you're riding a streak like this,